Okay, in this question we want to find the uh, general formula for the sequence. So we were given um, this, so we have 3 fourth, 4 9, 5 16, 6 25. And we want to know the uh, general sequence. So we know the first term is a1, second is a2, a3, and a4, and so on. And so what patterns do we see? Immediately the thing I see is that this is 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared, 5 squared. That's, that might be important. And the fact that this increases by 1. So you have 3, 4, 5, 6. And now with those two pieces of information, I'm going to try to come up with a, a general sequence. And since I know we have 3 and we start off with a1, maybe it's going to be n plus 2 for the numerator. So if I say n plus 2, if I do 2, you will get 4. 3, we get 5. So that's correct. So I can say n plus 2 should be the numerator. Now for the denominator, again, um, starting off is 1. And we have 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared. And if 1 is going to be 2 squared, that means n plus 1 squared should be what we want for the denominator. And that's all we need to do for the uh, first question. Now the second question, I'm going to do the same strategy. I'm just going to take a, a quick look at what we see. So one thing I see right now is that the first term is negative, second is positive, third is negative, and fourth is positive. So it alternates. And the, th the second thing I see is that this one doubles, and this one doubles of that. So each time it doubles from previous. Another thing I see is that it's uh, 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 plus 2 is 9. So those two pieces of information I automatically right now see. So the first thing I'm going to do is for the numerator, I'm going to say negative 1 raised to n. This will allow us to have alternating. Since we know the first term is negative, if I put a 1, I get a negative. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. And the second thing I'm going to do is by the fact that I know the first term produces 2, and we say eight, um, n, the first term is going to be 1, so we're going to do 2 raised to n. This will allow us when we plug in 1, we get negative, we get negative 2. We do 2, we get 4. And now for the denominator, so if the first term is 1, and each time we're adding 2, so if I do 2n plus 1, if I insert 1 for n, I get 3. I do 2, I get 4, 4 plus, 5, 4 plus 1 is 5. And uh, 3, 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. So I know this would be the answer. And that's all we need to do.